Phillips here from Tech Support. Today I'm going to show you guys how to update your map files on your Prodigy One system. Um, this will work for all of the Prodigy One units. However, today we're going to show you a demonstration in our 2009 Maxima that has the Prodigy One system installed. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the Prodigy One system on and we're going to launch the navigation. This is the first time this navigation has ever been launched, so we're going to have to go through and accept all the terms. Okay, the first thing you have to do is accept their terms. And this is going to be the same on all the systems. Now you might have to do this with your mouse that's provided in the package before you get the touchscreen calibrated. Now right here, this is the message you might see. Uh, it's going to say your map files seem to be outdated and it gives you a web address to visit for the updates. So we're going to hit remind me later. And then this red icon here is, to, you need to press this to exit the navigation. Once the navigation has been exited, just eject your SD card from the Prodigy One. Take this SD card into your uh, your storefront and plug it into your computer and we'll go from there. Okay, now we're back at our computer and uh, it needs to be a Windows based computer and you're going to go to www.navyextras.com and this is the page you will arrive at and I already have an account logged in there for our company but you're going to need to click this button here that says create a user profile and from there you can just use your store's name and a password such as like one, two, three, four, or five, six, or anything that's easily going to be able to remember. Um, if it asks you which product you're going to upgrade, uh, the Prodigy One Sixty Four is the unit we're using now, and you can also select a TD Forty Three Touch. Once your user profile has been created, you're going to click the Downloads tab in the top center of the screen, and it will bring up the Navi Extras Toolbox and I, I'm going to click the orange download button here and I'm going to click run and it says about 10 seconds remaining okay now it's asking us to select a language and we're going to click agree and install and now the box is checked it says I would like to start the toolbox now we're going to click finish and it's automatically going to launch the Navi Extras Toolbox. So I'll minimize the web browser. Now the Navi Extras Toolbox is on the computer desktop and it's launched. And I'm going to take the SD card that we pulled out of the Nissan. And I'm simply just going to place that in my SD card reader. And at the top of the screen it said device was not connected. Now it says direct us Prodigy 164. So here, this is going to prompt me to enter my password and login information. And I'm going to click Remember Me, so later on we can do another one. And if you notice at the bottom of the screen, it is scanning the SD card right now and checking the file contents. So I'm going to click Login at this point. And it is still scanning the card, it takes a minute, it's going through all the contents on the card. All right, now if you click the device button, um, it shows it was validating the card. It says you have two new packages to install, a fix for the navigation contents and the latest map guarantee. Um, we're gonna click later on this attention bulletin, just letting us know we haven't made a backup of the card, which you do not need to do. Click later there, and it already says on the screen what it has for you, and on the right, you're gonna click install. And here also, it's gonna say backup first, just click no thank you in the middle and you can see on the screen it's going to start downloading our content. This may take 5 to 10 minutes based on your download speed. On this computer here it should take less than 10 minutes. And now that you have updated the card, it says on the screen here that the request operation was completed successfully and you can click OK or show details. I'm going to click show details and if you show details it will actually go through and it shows exactly what state had an update and a check mark on whether or not it was completed successfully. So there's your whole list. After that, click OK. And at the top of the screen, now it says your device is up to date. Now you can click the exit button on the Navi Extras toolbox and take your SD card out of the computer.